Here in this video, we are going to talk about the five things that you should never do in your life because they keep you from manifesting your desires. If you stop doing these five things, you will see instant results. If you are practicing any manifestation method from Neville Goddard's teachings, but you aren't seeing any results, then you must watch this video because I'm pretty sure you are involved in doing some of these things. So before we start this video, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell to be a part of our YouTube family. All right, let's now get started. When we practice some manifestation method, most of us don't follow the conditions that must be followed. Every manifestation suggested by Neville Goddard or any other expert has some conditions that you may fulfill in order to see your manifestation come faster. What I'm going to share with you here in this video is going to help you a lot in your manifestation journey because this is something that I have learned after studying all of Neville Goddard's books. If many weeks and months have gone by but you are seeing no results, you will see great results the same day you stop doing these five things. Although some of the stuff that we are going to discuss will be hard for you to implement, once you implement the strategy that I have devised, you will see the results in no time. We know that what we focus on, we get more of. If we focus on the desired things, we get more of them. If we focus on undesirable things and think more about them, then we get more undesirable things. Neville Goddard always talks about living in the end. It means you have to focus on the end results. Ignore your current reality. Don't pay any attention to the undesired things and shift your focus on what you are going to manifest. But the problem is that most of us don't focus on getting what we want. We are trained to focus on what we have, whether we like it or not. But in your manifestation journey, you have to ignore all the things that you don't want and think about the desired things. In order to manifest your desire, you are required to stay in the state of wish fulfillment. Our focus and attention bring things into existence. But unfortunately, our focus goes on all the unnecessary things. We pay attention to negative thoughts, we pay attention to the things we don't want to manifest, and therefore we continue to manifest the things that we don't want to manifest. By doing so, we continue to live the same life full of sorrows and undesirable things and experiences, not attaining or manifesting anything big. So I've come up with the five things that have nothing to do with manifestation. If you are doing any of these things, stop doing them, and you will instantly manifest what you are trying to manifest. Number one, living in the past. Well, this is a big issue that must be addressed because most of us are doing it. You know, as Neville says, what we think about, we manifest more of. Many undesirable things happen to us in our lives, but some people stay attached to those unhappy and unpleasant experiences, and it continues to hurt them. You see, if something bad happened to us many years ago, whenever we remember it, we will become sad. But it is our own choice. If we remember it, we will get sad. But if we don't, we will not get sad. And if you often remember your past, you allow it to affect your life. This is something that not only destroys your manifestation, but also kills your happiness, making you sad most of the time. What about the things that you want to manifest? What about thinking about them? Will you not become excited and happy if you think about what you want? Your desires and your manifestations are linked with your future. So instead of thinking about the past that is gone, think about the future that is ahead. Be prepared to receive what you want. It's on its way, and soon it will come into your life, so don't stay in the past, come out of it and step into the future. Think only about the positive experiences so that you can manifest more positive experiences. If you think about the unpleasant experiences belonging to your past, they will become your future. Don't let the bitter past affect your future in any way. As you know, your life is a manifestation of your thoughts, so each thought that you carry in your mind counts and contributes to your reality. Some thoughts manifest into really bad things, so make sure you think of the pleasant experiences and come out of your past. You now know that Neville Goddard suggests that you stay in the state of wish fulfillment. The state of a wish fulfilled is the state of your future, because your wish will be fulfilled in the future. So what Neville Goddard suggests is that you don't live in the past and don't think about the past, but live the future that you desire. And what about the present? What if the current circumstances are undesirable? Well, if the current circumstances are unfavorable, just ignore them, because if you pay any attention to them or focus on them, you will manifest more unpleasant circumstances. So, what I want to say is don't focus on your past or pay attention to your present condition. Just focus on what you want to manifest. It is the future. It is coming. Focus on it and be prepared for it. Number two, overthinking. Now, this is another thing that most people do, and it becomes the primary cause of your delayed manifestation. Overthinking is a habit for many people, 
but for some, it becomes an addiction that is difficult to get rid of. You can't decide what should be your main focus, what things you should focus on, and it all delays your manifestation. Neville Goddard suggests that you feel as if your wish has been manifested and embody the state of that desire. You need focus and attention to live in that state and feel like you are living in that state because it is something related to your inner self. You have to create that state in your mind and feel it real, but when your focus is scattered and you have a lot of thoughts to focus on, you can't focus on the thoughts related to your desire. In this way, you can't feel your desire, you can't assume your desire, and you eventually fail to manifest your desire. So the question is, what can you do to stop overthinking? Well, meditation is a great way to stop overthinking. It causes your mind to get relaxed and allows you to choose some particular thoughts to focus on. Meditation is closely linked with manifestation, especially if you can't focus and pay attention to what you want to manifest. It helps you get into a deep state of relaxation and you easily connect with your subconscious mind to reprogram it. Meditation helps you get rid of anxiety or depression. It makes you satisfied and attentive. Number three, making others happy. Well, this is something you must stop if you truly want to manifest your desire quickly. When you try to make others happy, you become unhappy. And it's the truth. All other people have their own thoughts and ways of perceiving things. They look at the same matters and things from different aspects, so they might have different views and opinions from yours. They can't become like you, and you can't become like them. You see, they have their own goals. They have their own desires. Their decisions, actions, and responses to some particular situations will be different because everything they do is influenced by the thoughts and beliefs that they have. Thoughts and beliefs, as you know, are shaped by hundreds of factors. Where a person lives, what religion does he follow? What are his goals? What sort of parents, friends, and social circle does he have? What is his education, and what sort of education has he received? In what region of the world does he live? These are some of the important factors that determine a person's reality, thoughts, and beliefs. Remember that surrounding yourself with people who believe in you enhances your manifestation capabilities. But if you are surrounded by people who don't believe in you or who demotivate you, you aren't going to manifest your desires. So instead of making other people happy or impressed by you, surround yourself with positive people who support you and help you manifest your desire. Your thoughts are largely affected by the people who surround you, so having a supportive social circle is the key to manifestation. Number four, doubting yourself and the process. Doubts are the main thing that keeps people from manifesting their desires. Neville Doddard says that each and every thought and assumption hardens into fact. Even the thoughts that we have about ourselves, about the method that we are using, and about the thing that we want to manifest become reality. Doubting yourself means you want to manifest a particular desire, but you secretly believe that you don't deserve it or aren't able to do so. So whenever you desire something, don't doubt yourself and don't judge yourself. Believe that the thing that you want is easy for you to manifest. It is yours, it has always been yours, and you are the owner of those particular things. Such beliefs allow you to manifest your desires easily. But on the other hand, if you have any doubts, you will fail to manifest. You will manifest your doubts because doubts are actually thoughts. They are negative assumptions, so they are going to become facts. Doubting the process makes it slower, or in most cases, brings no results. Let me tell you that the law of assumption is a game of thoughts. If you have positive thoughts, no matter what your desire is, it is going to be yours. No matter what technique you follow and what method you practice, it is going to work if you believe it works. Number five, you aren't letting go. This is one of the primary reasons why people fail to manifest their desires. Having complete faith in the process and believing that it works, you don't wait for the results. After acting upon the process and doing what you have got to do, you become completely satisfied. It's like you've sown the seed and it's now growing. When you are done with the process, you let go. You forget what you have done. You forget what you desire. You just become completely satisfied. You don't even try to practice any method and you don't use any affirmations further. Neville Goddard suggested that you live in the state of your wish being fulfilled. What do you do when your wish is fulfilled? You just start living it, right? So when you believe and feel that your desire has already come true, you start living it. You start living according to your wishes. You have to make a shift in your lifestyle and way of thinking, because now you have entered another state. Before this, you used to think of what you wanted, now you think of what you have. Your reality has changed, so your vision and thoughts have also changed. When you have done the process, whatever it was, don't wait for your manifestation to come true, 
believe that it has come true and start living your life that way. Now your way of thinking should be different. You must act as if you have manifested your desire. Your way of talking must express as if you have manifested what you wanted. Simply put, your kids' lifestyles must reflect as if you have gotten what you wanted. I hope I was able to deliver a good analysis of this quote by Neville Goddard. And of course, this doesn't mean we agree with every single thing he said or believed in, because in the end, everyone will form his or her own opinion, and that is why we are analyzing and discussing his ideas and methods to fully understand his approach and general ideas, as he was a great teacher and inspired millions of people around the world. If you want to share your opinion, comment down below this video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it and press the bell icon for more interesting, informative, and helpful videos on manifestation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.